Hello guys, it is yours truly, Roro, with your midday inspiration. First and foremost, let me say, last week, my allergies and I, we kind of like, um, we, we had a big fight, right? And so, Mucinex ended up coming to save the day, and so I can sit before you today and declare that I am... I'm, I'm almost 100% better. Um, but last week I was unable to record because a lot of draining was going on. And so, yeah, I'm here today. So I just wanted to apologize to you guys for that. Though it was out of my control, I'm here today. So, with that, I hope you guys have had a great um, I hope last week was awesome, and I'm hoping that this week you are off to a great start of the week. Let's say a quick word of prayer, and then I'm going to share what God has given me to share with you guys. Most holy and righteous Father, we come, Lord, to say thank you so much, God. We thank you yet again for another day. We thank you for another opportunity. We thank you for another chance, God, to uh, work more towards being the best versions of ourselves for your glory. Father God, I lift up the individual that is watching, and I pray right now that um, whatever is said is helpful, and it edifies, and it encourages them. Lord, I thank you for using me for such a time as this. I give you all of the honor and the glory in the great name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so this week, I would like to ask you guys, I mean, like, this is a real question, and um, I kind of dealt with it for a while, and so I, I kind of wanted to pose it to you all as well. So, are you, um, are you a prisoner of your past? Like, just sit and think about it. Um, are you unable to truly embrace the beauty of today? because you are stuck in the past. Perhaps you've had a, a failed relationship or um, an opportunity that you failed at in the past. Are, are you still stuck there? If so, then you in fact are a prisoner of your past. And so uh, today I wanted to help you guys because um, what helped me is God's word. And I mean, like, we know that God's word is the blueprint, right? And so um, I was actually battling with some issues uh, from the past. And those issues were causing me to stay in the past. And I wasn't able to live in today. And so I've attacked those issues. And I'm not going to say that I'm just completely where I need to be. But I will say that I am no longer where I used to be with my mental state. And a lot of that has to do with me uh, being intentional about living in today and fighting for my freedom. You know, Jesus came so that we could have life in it more abundantly. He came, you know, to set us free. And so... He definitely doesn't want us to be in bondage or held captive or held hostage of our past. And so I'm going to share um, the scripture that actually helped me to kind of come up out of the space of that space of bondage. And um, if you would like to follow me with the reading of God's word, you can, you can meet me over in Philippians 3. And we're going to start with verse 12. And it reads, and I'm, I'm going to be um, speaking from the New Living, or reading from the New Living Translation. Uh, format. Yeah. So, now, now, no, this is Paul speaking. Paul is speaking to the Church of Philippi from prison. Okay? And he says, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things, or that I have already reached perfection. But I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers, I have not achieved it. But I focus on this one thing. And this is the one thing that we're going to focus on. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. 
you know, the sad reality is we're unable to um, really focus on what's in front of us if we are so focused on what's behind us. Now, imagine if you will, if you're driving, right? You're driving and the road is completely full and you are driving forward, but you're looking in the rear view mirror. Now, mind you, the road is full. The road is full. You're not really fully focusing on what's in front of you because you continue to look in the rear view mirror. Eventually, what will happen is you're going to crash. And so the unfortunate reality is, is that many of us are, are unable to live in today because we're so focused on the past. And then what we end up doing is we end up crashing those situations that align, those, I won't say perfect situations, but those situations that have not yet fully developed, um, let's say relationships for, for instance, if you are so used to, um, negative people, then if you're in a relationship with a person today, and you're constantly thinking about the negativity from your previous, then what will eventually happen is you're going to um, basically cause that person that's living in today to suffer from what was done to you in the past. And ultimately, the relationship is going to crash. You think about even opportunities. If you're presented with an opportunity today, but you had a similar opportunity in the past, yet... You failed in that opportunity. You're unable to fully, fully, fully focus on this new opportunity because you're so focused on that opportunity. And then you end up messing up the new opportunity. And so Paul tells us, look, I, ain't re I have not quite reached perfection, but this is one thing that I am doing. I am forgetting about those things that are behind me and I am focusing on what's in front of me. Now, he goes on to say, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. God is, he's actually, actually calling us to more. But you can't get to more if you're stuck in the past. And so today, my dearly beloved um viewers, my family. I love you guys so much. If you are stuck in yesterday, if you are a prisoner of your past, I want to encourage you today to be free. The past is the past. You've experienced some hurts of the past. There's no undoing the past, you know, but you can't get ahead if you're going to stay in the past. And so, that's what I wanted to share with y'all today. Let's focus on what is in front of us. And let's be, my challenge this week is for you guys to be intentional about forgetting those things that are behind you. We're driving down the road now. The road is full. We're not going to focus on what's in the rear view. We are going to focus on what is in front of us. That is my challenge for you guys this week. Focus on what's in front of you. That's what I got for today. So I hope that you guys were able to receive that. I will be back next week with more. But before I go, let's say a quick word of prayer. Holy and righteous Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you for this time. We thank you, God, that um, you are <laughs> you are the God who really does want us to be free. In fact, you sent your son to die for us so that we could be free. You sent him so that we could live an abundant life, a life that um, ultimately brings you glory. God, I ask right now that you touch the hearts of the individual that is watching this. You know exactly what it is that they are dealing with, God. So I ask, God, that you just help them. Help them to forget about those past hurts, those past failed relationships, those past failed opportunities, those past disappointments. Help them to uh, focus more on what is before them 
help them to focus more on you. Father God, we love you and we praise you and we give you all of the honor and the glory in Jesus' name. So, before I leave, I have to do this. This is like so important to me because I can just be honest in saying that as a child, I accepted Christ in my heart. Um, but it wasn't until I was an adult that I accepted him in my heart as my Lord and my Savior. You know, Lord can be defined as boss, right? So when I accepted him into my heart as my boss, I decided that I was going to let him rule my life. And every day, life gets better and better every day. Like, if you have not accepted Jesus in your heart as your Lord and your personal Savior, I want to invite you to do that. He's not asking for you to be perfect. He's not asking for perfection. He's just asking that you are willing. He's asking for you to surrender, for you to open your heart to him. And see, what he'll do is he'll come in and he will ultimately transform you. It won't happen overnight. For some people, it does happen overnight. For others, it don't. It takes a little while. But here's the mere fact. God wants you just as you are. So if you want to accept Jesus in your heart as your Lord and your personal Savior, just repeat after me and just say, Lord, come into my heart. I want to be saved. His word tells us that if we confess with our mouth and we believe in our heart the Lord Jesus, then we can be saved. And so just say, Lord, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you have raised your son, Jesus, from the dead for me. I want to be saved. And it's just that simple. It's that simple. Just accept him in your heart. Get connected with the church in your area. And um, walk this thing called life out with Christ as your Lord. And I guarantee, I guarantee life will get better. You'll never know life as, as you once knew it once you really accept him in and allow him to be the Lord of your life. So that is, that's all I got for y'all today. I, um, again, I can't wait until next week. Um, if you not, if you have not subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you need just a little more row, just come on over to Rose World. I'm on TikTok. You can find me under the username R-O underscore S underscore world. Well, that is all. I love you guys and I mean it. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, and it's Holy Week. It's Holy Week. So, yes, have a great rest of your week. Like, it's Easter. I mean, of course, I celebrate Easter every day because I serve the risen King. And, like, he is just, he's resurrecting so much things in my life. Like, he is resurrecting me, period. And so, um, I just celebrate Jesus and, and everything about him every day. Every day, every day is Easter. So, but this is the week. This is the this is Holy Week, and Sunday is when we'll all corporately celebrate the uh, resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, all right, that's all I got, y'all. I love you, and I mean it. Later. <laughs>